When God gives you vision about something, hold on to that vision. There's a story in the Bible about a man named Joseph. He was the youngest of all of his brothers and he was daddy's favorite. So as an older sibling, you can imagine how they cannot stand him. And he comes to them one day and he's like, hey, I had a dream last night that we were binding sheaves of grain in the field and mine stood upright and yours bowed down to me. So his brothers are like, can we kill him? Can we kill him? Because I'm over it. Like, nobody wants to hear about your dream about us bowing down to you. Long story short, he gets sold into slavery. And as he's a slave, he's really successful. God is putting fruit in every one of his hands. Everything that he does becomes successful so much that it attracts the attention of the Pharaoh's wife. So she's like hitting on Joseph and he's like, nah, like I don't want no smoke. So then fast forward a little bit. Pharaoh's like, yo, you're trying to get at my wife? Like, what is this? Jail. And at this point, I can imagine Joseph is like, okay, I can't do anything. I can't tell people my dreams. I can't do my job. What's going on? But God continues to set him up to do what he told him to do, and that's his vision. So as Joseph is in jail, there's two people. There's a cupbearer, which is somebody that's really important to the king, and there's a baker. Joseph interprets both of their dreams, and the cupbearer, he told that, is going to be released from jail in three days. That happened, right? And he's like, hey, you're important to the Pharaoh. Remember me. Tell him what I did for you so that he can get me out of here. And unfortunately for the baker, he told him that he was going to be hanged in three days. And that happened too. RIP the baker. So anyways, the cupbearer gets out of jail, right? It takes him two years to remember that Joseph was the one that interpreted his dream. The only reason why he remembered was because Pharaoh was like, hey, I need somebody to interpret my dream. And he's like, I know somebody. Oh, the guy that I left in jail for two years knows how to interpret dreams. So skipping a couple steps, Joseph gets out of jail and he becomes the Pharaoh's right-hand man. Okay, I'm about to connect this. Stay with me, stay with me. So Joseph interprets his dream and he's like, hey, there's a famine coming in seven years, but you have seven years to prepare for it. Like, it's time to start moving. So fast forward, the famine does come, right? And Joseph's brothers who sold him into slavery in the first place are a part of one of the lands that didn't prepare. So the brothers that sold him into slavery are coming now to where they sold him to ask for food. So at this point, they're asking for food, but they don't recognize that it's Joseph and Joseph knows that it's them. So they actually kneeled down to him, which is exactly what Joseph's dream was in the first place. And I wanted to explain the story of Joseph because it's a perfect example of when God gives you a vision about something, it's going to come through no matter what happens. No matter what you go through, no matter who's against you, no matter who, what, where, how, when, God makes things happen. Sometimes you just gotta go through a couple of things to get to your vision. God told me when I was a little girl that I was going to use my voice to spread his name. Look, this is where I get excited because the same way that I got made fun of for my voice when I was younger, that was Joseph's getting sent into slavery by his brothers. The same way that I'm going through this heartbreak is the same way that Joseph had to sit in jail for two years. So although Joseph was going through some things, he was still using his wisdom. He was still using his vision that God gave him. So his, his surroundings, his environment didn't change what God put in him. So what Joseph went through, didn't stop what God had put on the inside of him. It didn't stop the fire. It didn't stop the vision that God had told him to keep doing. And because he didn't stop, because I'm not going to stop, because no matter what I go through, God is still going to use my gift. My vision is going to come to pass. So the same way God gave Joseph vision, he gave me vision. And guess what? God gave me 56,000 people that are listening to me glorify his name. And that's only going to multiply seven times fold in the name of Jesus. It's only a matter of time before that Christian clothing line that he gave me vision for comes to pass. So I'm here to tell somebody not to stop doing their gift. Because if Joseph had stopped interpreting dreams because he got sent to jail, if Joseph had stopped interpreting dreams because he got sent to slavery, he wouldn't have ended up as Pharaoh's right hand man. His dream wouldn't have came to pass. And I want somebody to know that you have to just go through some things. Your journey, your struggles, your heart is not where God is going to have you end. So those trials and tribulations are building blocks for the vision that God has for your life. So just like Joseph started out as a slave and ended up as Pharaoh's right-hand man because his vision came through, I want you to know that God can do it for you too. That hurt is only building blocks. This heartbreak that I'm going through, this is a building block for my testimony so that when I get on here to do my gift, so use my vision, God gives me something to talk about because I can talk from my heart because I've been there. So I'm here to say out loud because life and death is in the power of the tongue and my heavenly father gave me the confidence to say it, that my dream that God gave me, my vision that God gave me, is that I'm going to have followers in multitudes to hear what Jesus has to tell them. I'm gonna have a clothing line, a Christian clothing line, that people are going to wear all around the world to glorify his name. 
So although, just like Joseph's brothers didn't want to hear his dream, y'all might not want to hear me. But it doesn't matter what you guys want to hear. It doesn't matter that that person left. It doesn't matter what's going on around me. God gave me that dream. And as long as I'm continuing to do what I'm supposed to do, what God told me to do, my dream is going to come to pass. My vision is going to be sought through. God said that he prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies. It doesn't matter who left. It doesn't matter what jail cell you're sitting in. It doesn't matter what slavery you got thrown into. It doesn't matter. Just like it didn't matter for Joseph, it doesn't matter for you either. God is going to be there for you just like he was there for him. He's going to make your vision come to pass just like he made Joseph's vision come to pass. You are going to get through it. It doesn't matter who left. You got this. Keep doing what God told you to do and everything will work out.